uh, my name is Jim. I'm Elizabeth. And this is the St. John uh, Wine Times. St. John Wine Times. <laughs> so uh, today we're going to break with tradition here on the St. John Wine Times. Yeah, uh, and we got a sherry here. We're going to review sherry. Big bottle of sherry. It's Christmas Eve. Manzanilla. So Manzanilla. Manzanilla. Barbadillo. Barbadillo, Manzanilla, Barbarella, Maneater, Sherry. Sounds like a limerick. Sounds like a limerick. There once was a barba from Badillo. And he drank some sherry. Extra dry. And that's what we're going to do tonight. Yeah. Now this is a, uh, a sherry from a unique dry wine exclusively yeah. produced in San Lucar de Barrameda. Bodegas Barbadillo is the largest producer of manzanilla. It owes its inimitable character to the Atlantic climate. So, we're in Atlantic Canada. Right. The manzanilla has a bright, pale straw color, an aromatic nose, delicate palate, and a tangy finish. So, we'll be testing all of those claims here tonight. Aromatic nose. I didn't know this was about eugenics. Looks like it. Oh. Things you learn. Things you learn on the St. John Wine Times. Goo, 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 goo. One of the very best of Spanish aperitifs and an excellent accompaniment to tapas, light exotic dishes, and seafood. Produced and bottled by Bodegas Barbadillo, shippers of fine sherries in San Lucar de Barrameda since 1821. I hate seafood. Yeah. Well, we're going to have the best part. Shellfish makes you sick, doesn't it? Very sick. Yeah. It's making me really sick lately. Well, you better watch out then. The sherry might be... All right. In cahoots. Let's, uh, let's give it a go. All right. First the nose, the nose, the nose. See, I like the sniff of it. it smells like church. Let's hold that sucker up in front of the fire. I think the nose smells like church. Yeah, it smells like the good parts of church. Like the front. Like the wine. All right. Not like the mothballs. No, not like the old women. No, not like the old women. Except after they've had some wine. Yeah, and their yeah. breath. Yeah. But not mixed with mothballs. I don't usually get that close to them, though. Yeah. No. But they always kiss you, so that makes sense why you would... Associate. Yeah. Jimmy. Al <laughs> alcohol in a person's breath. But... <laughs> Is Jimmy home this year? <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. What's Jimmy doing now? <laughs> I always thought I'd marry Jimmy. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> uh, right, so that's the nose. Right. Uh, what are we looking for next? Uh, the color. Don't know if you can straw. see, it's well, sort of... here's the best way she knows. to that shit. She knows. She's, she knows about Sherry. Except I hate Sherry. But we'll Still see know if, about it. We'll see if I hate this. Um, you know, you do the little... Test on the napkin or paper Looking for towel. a shadow. It's the reflection, actually. Like a vampire. The light. Just yeah. want to test if it's if a vampire. If it casts a shadow. Then it's not a vampire. I don't see much of a shadow here. Might so be a vampire. This might be a vampire. So we better watch out, but... Better not cry. Better not shout. Vampire's coming to town. Yeah, he's going to suck all your blood and take your toys. Sherry's probably something a vampire would drink. Apart yeah, from blood. probably is. Probably a sherry and blood. I think he would offer a sherry. Yeah, to his victim. Yeah. All right. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Oh my god, I hate that. What does it taste like to you? Really dry piss. Yeah. Tastes like church smells. Tastes like church smells. With a little dust out. If I were to lick the pew. <laughs> yeah, if you were to lick the pew, but I think that pews always smelled like corn pops to me. Yeah, well, this doesn't taste like corn pops. No, it doesn't. Corn so. pops were a lot sweeter, so. Yeah. 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 Mm. Mm. It is extra dry. It's evaporating off my tongue and the roof of my mouth. Oh my god. Very quickly. Tastes like punishment. Yeah. Barbadillo. Extra. You are sentenced Out to Barbadillo Manzanilla. What would you give this? Out of five, I would give this, well, if I'm being fair, I'd have to give it a four. Because <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what would you just give regular piss? All right, all right. <laughs> Look, I know what you're going to say. I, know, I think, I hope you do. 
But the thing is, it deserves to be evaluated on its own merits. I have typically not liked sherry, and it's not the sherry's fault. Mm. Yeah, and so it says extra dry. It is extra dry. It says smells like piss. Kind of smells like piss. Doesn't say that actually. Really? Yeah. All right, maybe a three. It says uh, a delicate palate and a tangy finish. Yeah, but yeah, tang is code for piss. All right. <laughs> Uric acid is the only yeah. thing that produces tang. Yes. Yeah. Give it an audio. Oh, yeah. Oh, when you do that, it almost tastes like wine. Really? Okay. If you don't let it, like, touch your tongue for too long. Ew. Ew. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to do that. <laughs> Good thing you're wearing a scarf. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Kind of looks like mucus when you spit it out. Well, talk to the sherry about that. Don't talk to me about it. It's a lot of things, in short, about this sherry that are not actually on the bottle, which yeah. is why you need experts like the St. John John Wine, Wine Times, Times to tell you about it. Yeah. All right, well, I think uh, we found the aromatic nose, the tangy finish. What about the delicate palate? Well, I think to me something like a delicate palate is contained in the fact that it smells better than it tastes. It smells still a lot like church. I'm a little bit like pissed too, but it's not nearly as offensive when you're like smelling it. Like a drunk it. who has gone into a church and pissed. And pissed, exactly. Maybe that's what Barbadillo means. Barbadillo. <laughs> Named after the drunk man in Seville who used to go and piss in the church. They have a statue of him on the clock in the town <laughs> yes, square. Yes, exactly. Every hour he pisses on a church. Señor Barbadillo. Yep, there he is. Right. Hmm. Oh. It's, it's also a bit like fruit juice that's... It's not fun Very anymore. slightly stings your lips. Yeah, it does. Very slightly. Not it's, much. It's all part of the punishment. you get anything from that? Mmm. It's a little bit acidic. Oh yeah, let's check out that shit. hurting you every time, isn't it? Mm. Mm. I'm not down with this. Why? It's, um, it's a difficult job. really is. I mean, you know, it's got nice color. Looks nice in the glass. It would be great to, it would be great as a thing to like throw into the fire. <laughs> dramatically. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And if you put, uh, if you put it in bottles and put it up against the window with the sunlight. Mm. Yeah, you would get a nice uh, extra warm glow. Nice effect. But at the end of the day, for actually doing it... I just had it, those sour cream and vinegar crackers, whatever they are. You're not a taster. Well, I thought it would cleanse my palate. Sour cream and vinegar as a cleanser. Yeah. Yeah, the Japanese famously use sour cream and vinegar chips and crackers and yeah. to cleanse their palate between... Yeah. Yeah, really. Yeah. Oh, that's like... It's sort of like water mixed with a bit of... Uh, pain. Medicine. Yeah, water and a bit of medicine and a bit of lemon juice and a bit of piss. Yeah. It's pretty much what it is. But drier. Yeah, but drier. But drier. So it's sophisticated. Yeah. The piss of a very smart person. Yeah. <laughs> Well, All on right. a scale of one to five, yep. I would rate it three. And on a scale of one to five, I would rate it four. For an overall grade of 3.5 from the St. John Wine Times. St. John Wine Times. And that's it for this one.